The White Terror was a period during the French Revolution in 1795, when a wave of violent attacks swept across much of France. The victims of this violence were people identified as being associated with the Reign of Terror, followers of Robespierre and Merit, and members of local Jacobin clubs. The violence was perpetrated primarily by those whose relatives or associates had been victims of the Great Terror, or whose lives and livelihoods had been threatened by the government and its supporters before the Thermidorian reaction. Principally these were, in Paris, the Muscadins, and in the countryside, monarchists, supporters of the Girondins, those who opposed the civil constitution of the clergy and those otherwise hostile to the Jacobin political agenda. The Great Terror had been largely an organized political program, based on laws such as the Law of 22 Prairial, and enacted through official institutions such as the Revolutionary Tribunal, but the White Terror was essentially a series of uncoordinated attacks by local activists who shared common perspectives but no central organization. In particular locations, there were however more organized counter-revolutionary movements such as the Companions of Jehu in Lyon and the Companions of the Sun in Provence. The name White Terror derives from the white cockades worn in the hats of royalists. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Background. The reign of terror ended on 9 Thermidor year 2, the 27th of July 1794, when Robespierre and his associates were overthrown. However there was not an immediate reaction to his rule, and for many months an unstable political climate prevailed before a new order emerged. In Paris, there were increasing attacks on sans-culottes by Muscadins, and there were attacks on Jacobins in Lyons and Nimes in February 1795. However only when a number of conditions changed did anti-Jacobin forces feel sufficiently confident to escalate these attacks into a full-scale white terror. Politically, the Thermidorian reaction did not remove from power all those who had been involved in the reign of terror, indeed some of the most feared terrorists, including Jean-Baptiste Carrier and Joseph Fouché had been involved in overthrowing Robespierre, largely because they feared him calling them to account. It took a period of several months before all of the leading figures associated with the reign of terror were brought to trial or removed from power. Economically, there were food shortages as a result of a hard winter in 1794-5 and the Assinat currency collapsed. The harvest of 1794 was poor, particularly in the areas which supplied Paris and in many northern areas people were reduced to consuming seed during the winter. Further south, rivers remained iced over and roads remained impassable in the spring, hindering trade and raising local prices. The Assinat fell from 31% of its face value in August 1794 to 24% in November, 17% in February and 8% in April 1795. In Paris, hunger and desperation led to the germinal uprising of April 1795. Militarily, the National Convention was fighting the Chouannery Rebellion in western France until December 1794. The Treaty of La Jaune which ended the rebellion allowed the return of non-juring priests The agreement ended the direct military emergency facing the Republic and weakened the standing of the civil constitution of the clergy. <laughs> Timeline of events leading to the White Terror Source: The 1st of August 1794 arrest of Jacobin terrorist Fauquier Tinville. The convention repeals the law of 22 Prairial. The 3rd of September 1794 arrest of Jean Baptiste Carrier. The 8th of September 1794 the Revolutionary Tribunal begins to hear the case of the 94 non-federalists. The accused made a very powerful appeal to public opinion by recounting in horrific detail the terror in their city under Carrier. This trial was critical in hardening public opinion against the Jacobins. The 16th of October, the convention bans any correspondence and affiliations between clubs, effectively outlawing the nationwide network of Jacobin clubs. The 17th of October 1794 the trial of the 94 Nantes ends with their acquittal and new accusations are brought against Carrier. 12 November 1794 Following attacks by Muscadins who stone men and whip women, the Jacobin Club is closed by the Committee of General Security because it was a focus for violence. 8 December 1794 The convention invites Girondin deputies excluded since 3 June to take their places again. 16 December 1794 Jean-Baptiste Carrier executed. 
The 7th of February 1795 arrest of noted radical Gracchus Babeuf. The 8th of February 1795 the convention decides merits remains are to be removed from the Pantheon. The 2nd of March 1795 the convention decrees the arrest of Jacobin terrorists Bariri, Bio Varen Vadir and Collet Durbois. 1 to 2 April 1795 Germanal uprising of sans culottes in Paris against hunger and reaction rapidly suppressed. The convention imposes martial law in Paris and decides that the arrested Jacobins Bariri, Bio Varenne, Vadir and Collet Durbois should be deported to Guyana without a trial. 5 April 1795 The convention issues arrest warrants for a number of left-wing deputies, including Cambon, Levisseur de la Sarthe, Thuriot and Le Cointer. 6 April 1795 The convention reduces the power of the Revolutionary Tribunal, 10 April 1795 The Convention passes a decree ordering the disarming of everyone involved in the Reign of Terror 7 May 1795 Fauquier Tinville Gilauten together with other associated with the Revolutionary Tribunal, Lane judge, Renaudin juror, Leroy juror, Foucault judge, Vallette juror, Skellier vice-chairman of the Revolutionary Court, Garnier Lani judge, Prier, juror, Chatelet, juror, Gerard, juror, Boyaville, Trey, Verney, and Dupamier. Topic: <laughs> Timeline of events in the White Terror. Source: August October 1794 Newly Freed Press allows right-wing papers in Paris to call for revenge on the Jacobins, gave instructions for action and pointed out prominent terrorist targets. In the provinces, Thermidorian representants and mission opened the prisons and stirred up calls for revenge on Jacobins, Boisset at Bourg, Goupio at Avignon and August and Serre at Marseille. They broke up local Jacobin committees and imprisoned many associated with them. 2 February 1795 Massacre of Jacobin prisoners at Lyons. On 14 February Joseph Fernex, a judge on the former Revolutionary Committee, in prison since Thermidor, is killed and thrown into the Rhone by a mob. On 1 March another member of the Revolutionary Committee, Satemouche, is killed. Later in February Jacobin prisoners in Nimes are killed. 30 March 1795 In Lyons, the threat of a massacre of prisoners and other Jacobins is now so great that Boisset ordered detainees to be taken away to Roanne and Macon nevertheless on 4 April several thousand rioters break into three jails in the city and kill 99 Jacobin prisoners. 7 April, at St. Etienne, the former Jacobin mayor Johannot is killed. 19 April 1795 at Lons le Saunier, six Jacobins who had been arrested and were being taken into the town are killed on the road. The 11th of May, at Aix and Provence 30 Jacobin prisoners are killed. In Nimes, Jean-Antoine Corbus is killed. The 20th of May 1795 Prairial uprising of sans culottes in Paris put down by the army. The 23rd of May 1795 Military Commission to Judge Prairial Insurgents established. It disarms the sections and pronounces 36 death sentence. Around 1,200 people are imprisoned in Paris, and tens of thousands more in the provinces. The 25th of May, a number of Jacobin prisoners at Tarascon are killed. The 2nd of June, 12 Jacobin prisoners killed at Saint Etienne. 5 June, at Marseille, 700 Jacobin prisoners are massacred in the prison of St. Jean Fort. 27 June, member of the former Revolutionary Tribunal at Orange are killed and thrown into the Rhone. <laughs> <laughs> Effects in other towns The White Terror spread throughout the country, with some regions claiming not to have been disgraced by the Reign of Terror and others believing that there had to be significant retributions. Individuals accused as terrorists were then put on trial and executed. Overall, the severity of the reactions to the Reign of Terror were dependent on how each region was involved in the revolution and on that region's specific history. Lists of those persecuted, as well as existing judicial and police records, indicate that a strong majority of accusations made did not arise from actions during the Reign of Terror at all but rather from personal or regional grudges. In the Department of Pyrenees Orientales, records state that after Thermidor there were no terrorists residing there. They boasted of not having been disgraced by either the terror or the reaction. 
In the small village of Veleron the Vaucluse, with a population of about 900 people, quite a few of its citizens had been wrongfully convicted and executed in the Reign of Terror. Many of the people who brought these charges were their fellow citizens. Many of the accused were eventually persecuted or sent to the guillotine. After the Reign of Terror, from 1796 to 1797, the families that had been the victims of these arrests led a reaction against the accusers of the Reign of Terror. The most common methods of persecution against the accused during the White Terror were either arson or murder. Judicial records indicate about nine convictions of individuals alongside their families. In Montbrisson, a district of Loire, over 258 persons reported violence towards them and others during the Reign of Terror. However in Loire, there were long phases of conflict and reciprocal vengeance due to religious intolerance. The long-standing religious conflict has made historians wonder if the White Terror was used as a means of maintaining a conflict with rival religious groups. In 1798 there was a prison massacre in Loire led by the anti-Jacobin leader General Amédée Willet. Willet is commonly referred to as the individual who incited the White Terror in the town of Loire. His occupation of the town is commonly referred to as La Réaction Willet. His fierce anti-Jacobin policies convinced Willett to abuse the powers vested in him by the convention, establish a military dictatorship and openly persecute local patriots. Individuals accused of being Jacobins were imprisoned and eventually slaughtered. In the 8,000-person community of Aubain there was a large local impact from the Reign of Terror. Primarily from 1795 to 1797, there was a phase of prolonged violence. The town had a large number of revolutionaries, as well as a long history of factional conflict. From 1795 to 1797, the years that are considered the town's reaction to the Reign of Terror, 413 people were imprisoned and eventually executed. Judicial records indicate that the accusations and deaths during the Reign of Terror and the White Terror both followed historical familial struggles and traditional regional struggle patterns. See also White Terror Second White Terror Citations <inaudible> <inaudible> <inaudible>